Uh, hey everybody, this is Darth Bry, boy, and I just got, uh, the first Toy Story on 4K, because, uh, the 4K player is working now, or the setup is, anyway, I've got John Wick in there, I don't know, why they are weird, I pull it back, it looks like the thing is having a seizure, but it's not turning on and off, it's just, you know, being its thing, so, I now have Toy Story 1 in 4K, so I guess I'm going to put it over there. That looks weird as shit, but whatever. For now, I'm just going to be satisfied with having Toy Story 1 in 4K and having uh, three copies of Toy Story 1 across the board because I have the 2005 DVD release, the 4K Ultra HD release, and I have the, uh, the 20, the 09 Blu-ray release. I'm not sure if this is 09 or 2010. It's probably 2010. Uh, where is, oh, it says it right fucking there. It says 2010 Blu-ray release. Um, why do I have every... All these copies of Toy Story, you know, if I still had it, I would have had a VHS copy as well. So we would have seen, like, the progression of me buying Toy Story over the years. Why do I still keep the 10th anniversary DVD? I've had it forever, I've had it since I was a kid. And because I've had it forever, I didn't take care of it as well as I should have. And it's showing its age, it's glitched a little bit, depending on what player I put it in. Um, PS3 plays back fine, um, HD... Uh, the HDMI DVD player plays back fine, 4K player, not so much, but that has issues with DVDs for some reason, or DVDs that may have been a little worn over the years. <clears throat> but, if I put it in the PS3, works great, no issue. Um, so why did I buy it on 4K? Because I love, well, I just love Toy Story that much. I am a fan, a fanatic of the Toy Story series, and, uh, since I don't have the other three films, the last three films in 4K, um, I might just be happy with Toy Story 1 in 4K, to be honest. Because, well, I love Toy Story 1. Um, why do I keep Toy Story, the Toy Story 1 Blu-ray on a completely different shelf? Um, bad planning. If I wanted to, I could probably move the Matrix movies. You know, it's like... I have no real reason, to be honest. Um, I just... Didn't play... I am really annoyed at this, though, because... So, one of these things is not like the other. Can you tell me what that is? Oh, yeah, the 4K release is purple. Even though it should be blue. Like... I really don't like the cases for the, uh, um, and also the case is different, so that's one thing, uh, so I got Toy Story 1 in 4K and I'm very happy about it, just being a bit of a nitpicky bitch, um, but now I have three copies of this movie, but this is still one of my favorite ways to watch it, I think this is one of the best DVD masters, um, of all time, so that's why I still have it, um, when I do the next Pixar overview, um, that's going to be interesting, um, and my mild OC, well, I don't, I don't have OCD, that's not even funny to joke about, because I know people who do, and that's not, that's kind of a tasteless joke, <clears throat> um, so now I own two Pixar movies in 4K, one of them being a duplicate. Uh, will you get rid of your DVD? Hell no. Um, because I love, uh, Toy Story 1 that much. It is one of my favorite films of all time. So that is a major reason why I will never, uh, be getting rid of the Toy Story films. Or any version of Toy Story 1. Because sometimes, with the DVDs, they have uh, certain ways the movies look that you can't get anywhere else. 
So I'm very happy I got Toy Story 1 now in 4K. And uh, I think that's mainly it. Um, I do have to rub the lens on this camera. <clears throat> and one of my friends left his earbuds here when he came over. And Target, I'm outside my house. Ooh, what kind of sorcery craziness is that? They also got like a, some Star Wars displays. It's pretty late, so I don't think people are going to give a shit on me recording. So I really didn't like the art style they gave, uh, like the new, like the re-release of the Toy Story films. But then I looked around a little more, and it seems that Pixar is doing this for, uh, or Disney is doing this for like most of the Pixar films, the general re-release. So, we got the first two, we got the Box Tank films, we got Finding Nemo, we got the Incredibles films here. And we got the Cars films. They're going three for some reason. Which is surprising, but not really. And then, um, oh, today was also election day, so I hope y'all voted. And if y'all didn't vote, then I will be disappointed. Get some re releases for these, which is nice. Um, and we got a uh, 234 here, which if you buy this with the It won't look really consistent, except maybe the uh, placement logo. That'll look consistent, but not the uh, actual art to it. I kind of regret not buying this in Ford guy, but um, you know, it's okay. Blu ray is good enough, and naturally is good enough, even though know, I've watched a little bit of Toy Story 1 and it looked absolutely stunning and amazing 4K. Okay, that would be great if it was the Pixar phone, but that does not seem to be the case, so I'm really interested. This is always a fun section to browse through. I like Target, it's kind of chill. Or I like Target at night, I should say. Best Buy, you can't film. People bitch if you film in the Best Buy. But Target, not so much. So I made a short video longer. Excuse me. So, I'm debating about getting some movies. So this is pretty sweet. They got the re-releases of Star Wars here, of all the six of them, which is pretty nice. Um, the only thing I have to do is maybe get rid of the, well, if I was crazy, I would buy all of these. I am kind of tempted to get the original trilogy. Away, and uh, the main reason to get the original trilogy would be to get the slipcovers because I think if I put these slipcovers over my Twilight Time cases, it would look really nice. But ooh, they've got one copy of Return of the Jedi left, um, so that's tempting. <clears throat> they don't have the DVDs, which I'm very surprised by, but that's okay. I am very tempted to get uh, the prequel trilogy on Blu-ray, because you know, they got, they got one copy of Return of the Jedi left. But the only problem, oops, yeah, they got it. The only problem with this is that it's the special edition and not the theatrical cut. And I went into 
a video about why that's bullshit. So yeah, anyway, Target's got some nice stuff. Stuff that I don't own yet, and stuff that I was curious about. And stuff that I might buy. <laughs>